Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Alright, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got some plays for you today out of the Seahawks playbook. Why am I using the Seahawks playbook? It's very simple. Uh, somebody on my Patreon requested the Seahawks playbook. If you guys don't know my Patreon, there are tier rewards where basically if you join at a certain level, you get to choose the topic of my next video. So if you guys are interested in that, if there's a playbook that I'm not touching up on, uh, link in the description below. Uh, you guys can check that out for yourself. But for now, uh, what was requested was the Seahawks. So you're all going to get to see what this guy uh, wanted to see. Basically. Basically, it's out of the Deuce Close, which is also in the Atlanta Falcons playbook. Some of the plays, I'm not sure if they all are, uh, but this is in a lot of different playbooks. And it's also a very popular formation. A lot of, um, you know, big time uh, pro players really like the Deuce Close, but I guarantee you they don't run these plays like I do. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pick uh, the first play. There's a couple of really good plays here that I like. One of my favorite ones, uh, I'm gonna say, is probably the PA misdirection. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick that first. I'll uh, mix this in with a nice run play here in a minute. We're gonna go with a uh, random three four since it's a two tight end set. This set's real simple. All I'm going to do here is bring Jimmy Graham uh, down into the uh, what looks like a fullback or an H-back position. And I can run it just like this. I also like to put Wilson here on a cover three beater straight up uh, the seam. Uh, I'm going to probably cancel the play action uh, immediately because I don't really like um, delaying it too long. But you really have everybody on this play is pretty much going to be open. If it's cover three, Richardson and Wilson are really good. If it's cover two, Richardson's really good. Uh, Baldwin's going to be really good outside, especially in man situations, which this doesn't look like a man at all. And uh, the uh, Baldwin and the, the X route play off each other really well. So we'll go ahead and we'll rock this one time. Jimmy Graham just gets a nice free release. That's really what that motion is all about, getting Jimmy Graham wide open nine times out of ten. Yeah, this play right here, you can always put um, Wilson on a slant. If you think that that's more beneficial, that this looks like a cover three. So I think fading him uh, and pass leading outside is going to be really good. Um, you could also, if you plan on beating that cover three really quickly, or if your opponent's saying a lot of pressure, just put Rawls here on a uh, pass block, and uh, that's a really good option. So here I'm going to go ahead and a pass lead outside. You see how that linebacker can't catch up. I think that was a cover one man, but it's whatever, so it worked out. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to rock this a couple more times, show you some consistency here. Like I said, I'm going to cancel this play action uh, right away. That X route, uh, it's not Jimmy Graham that's doing it. Any tight end with a little athleticism is going to get open. You see a big score there. That's really a unique uh, route. What he's running is, is in a lot of plays, but it's not in a lot of plays where it's coming out of the backfield. So you're not going to see this type of separation. And I just totally uh, didn't catch and run that. He like came back to the ball, but it's whatever. You see how that was a pretty good play regardless. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to keep doing this. I'm going to try to I keep slanting Wilson uh, just because, you know, that's a good look. It, it works out pretty good either way. As you see here, I'm under some serious heat, but it still works. The only thing about Wilson is sometimes he doesn't get the free release because he's behind the left tackle. So sometimes he kind of runs into that guy, which isn't the best. Uh, well, here we get that circle wrap. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get that touch. Get that touchdown. Yes, yeah, so just keep an eye on Wilson. He can get caught up a little bit. You can put him on a drag, too. He won't get caught up as much on a drag. It's a little bit of a smoother transition. Uh, but that's really up to you. He'll come open uh, in that drag route the same way. As I'm saying that, he is getting caught up on that drag. Let's get that touchdown, bruh. Look at that right cover, too. Uh, Richardson's a cover, a good cover two, good cover three beater. Here's a cover three. So I really, I said originally put him on streak, but I think a fade's a little bit better. Cancel that play action. We're gonna hit that guy right up the center there. Uh, you know what I'm saying? A user, man, this tackling is horrible. The users really got to be on point to stop that. And it's really hard because there's one on each side. So he really has to pick his poison if it's a cover three, whether it's Richardson or Wilson. So. Um, not a really good situation to be in regardless. We're going to pass lead that inside this time, and he's just wide open over the middle. Like, two, two streaking guys is tough for any defense. Any defense, you got two streaking center uh, receivers, and it's just really hard to beat. So I got a feeling right here is going to be Baldwin all the way. Uh, I think we're going to end this on a touchdown if I can get it. If I can get it. If I can get it. I lobbed that up too. Bet he caught it anyway. Touchdown. Let's go. <laughs> so, all right. So we'll go ahead and we'll move on there. Um, I probably should have bullet passed that. Maybe even passed, let it, but it's whatever. It worked out. So let's go ahead and let's move on and show another play. 
Another play I really like. This is a really good passing formation. Like I said, this is kind of a pro uh, type of system. A lot of people really use this. And, uh, you know, the Wham is a play I might show, I might not show. But that's like a really popular one that everybody knows. Uh, but a lot of these plays, like I said, nobody really runs a lot of these plays like me. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to throw out the uh, PAX post cross. This is a really uh, good one I like. Now this one here, real simple. All I'm gonna do is put Goldman on a drag. Uh, the, the, as far as Wilson goes, I mean, he's you could always put him on an out route and then smart route him. I find that's a decent option. You get like the flood routine, but uh, you don't really have to do that. I think that this is fine just like this uh, because you're getting every concept that you need here as the R1 route and the tight end play off each other. That guy didn't know who to cover. So I hit it to the running back nine times out of 10. He gets a nice catch and run. You can always get uh, Graham turning into a blocker, which is nice. This looks like a cover three, and yeah, that's a bad throw, but I came back to it anyway. Let's go. Uh, nice cover three beater. Uh, that route's going to be an instant cover three. Here looks like another cover three. As long as I cancel this play action, and just boom, there's nobody there. Um, all the tight, all the linebackers pull down to the tight end. The tight end and the running back, since you have two low routes, the tight ends will typically read that and drop down. Not the tight I'm saying the tight ends. The linebackers will typically read that and drop down because there's multiple short routes. But the more short routes you have, the more often uh, linebackers will drop into coverage, allowing the deeper routes to get to the safeties. But since there's so much separation between the linebackers and the safeties in this situation, which is Baldwin and Richardson, um, it's just typically a wide open pass. And users are going to have a hard time. Oh, we got that circle route, bro. I want to get that in the end zone. Hold on. Well, no, man, I, that, that's, that juke was horrible. It's whatever, though. Um, but, yeah, the user's going to have a hard time if you're running the ball successfully. I'm going to show you some good run plays of stopping these plays because they're really um, – oh, here we go. That's a nice, easy drag to the tight end. Uh, but there's some really good run plays out of this, too, so that's going to really keep your opponent honest. Uh, you can also put Wilson on a slam once again. Uh, and it creates that um, two-tier level passing between him and Baldwin. And he'll come open underneath Richardson uh, once more. As you can see here, we got a, a man um, system going. So there's just a nice catch and run against the uh, slow safety. But I really find the pass rush in this game uh, will, will eventually beat this. Uh, it's there to just set in the house. So I really find it's best to leave that tight end as a blocker. So we'll go ahead and we'll move on to the next play. I'm not going to go over the uh, halfback wham because it's been done to death. I guess I will. A lot of, maybe some people don't know it. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick that. This here is just kind of like a trap option type of play. As you can see there, that's just a huge hole uh, right up over the, set, over the center there. Uh, I don't find this is the most consistent play, but like I said, a lot of people swear by it. As you can see there, it just gets, it just gets stuffed. But it can be a pretty good play. I'm not going to say it's not, but I just, to me, I prefer a regular dive. There you see, I mean, that's a pretty big hole to run through, to be honest. That's something that uh, EA and Madden have known about for a while, and they never went as far as to fix it. Uh, but like I said, it's it's good. Here I'm just like dragging Chris Baker for like five, six yards. Um, sometimes you get some really massive holes up the center, like here. You know what I'm saying? That's that's really good blocking, so I can't, I can't deny this play. It's really good. Pretty easy mode. Like I said, it's only I think it's only found in this formation. It might be in like another one, uh, but it's not really my play. As you can see, like I said, it's good. It's just not consistent. I like outside runs. Uh, this is definitely something to add into your arsenal, though. As you see, I'm getting stuffed uh, by Foster there. But definitely a good play. Definitely has good capabilities. So I guess I'll end this video on a rush play. Uh, the counter weak is one of my favorite, and it mirrors the first play. So let's pick that. We'll go ahead. We'll go ran 3-4 again. Yeah, I can run it like this without adjustments. It's a pretty good counterplay. Uh, there, I actually had a hole right up the middle. Sometimes it'll be up the middle, sometimes it'll be outside. Sometimes you'll have to, you know, you really have to read how that end gets blocked. Uh, if they hold that block, uh, you can, you know, there's there's a couple different lanes you gotta choose from really, but they're typically there. Uh, but how I really like to run this is I like to motion Graham, so it looks like the pass play that I showed you. And uh, I just find that this does a much better job. As you see, I could have went outside there or inside. I messed that whole play up, but it was, it was starting out good. It was a decent start. But basically, Graham here, obviously, he's going to add to the blocking as, you know what, man? We just got to make somebody miss here. Like, I'm getting good blocking. I'm just screwing this up. And I know that the uh, the Seahawks don't have the best line. <laughs> it's one of the worst lines in the game in the league, actually. Um, but here we go. Now that's blocking. Now let's let's just let's turn this up and get this touchdown. God damn it! God damn you, Redskins! All right, so we're gonna run it. We're gonna mix it up. We're gonna run it like this. And I just need you know what? If I had a little bit of speed, man, a little bit. Oh, 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 come on! 
Yeah, I would like to end this on a uh, touchdown if I could. It's not the end of the world if I don't. I'll go ahead and I'll try to ride this way once or twice more just to show you how explosive this is. Just, oh, you, you need to get that in. You need to get that outside. Thomas Rawls to the house. Let's go. I probably should have got more touchdowns than that, but it's all good. I'll go ahead and I'll move on. End video number one. Um, this here is a very good series. Like I said, if you run this or you run the Falcons, if you guys know any other playbooks that have the uh, single back deuce close in it, let me know. I'm sure it's a lot. Uh, like I said, it's a very popular pl uh, play series. Uh, but, you know, let me know in the comment section just so other people can see that, just so they can know if it's in their favorite playbook or not. So that's it for part one. If you want to see part two, hit the like button and I'll do that. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Money shit out.